Hello everyone. I am Sankal Jal, a final year student of computer science, and here we have Tanish with us today. So he has tracked a company called Amadeus Labs, and he'll be sharing all the details right from the coding round till the interviews and till the selections, and also his strategies and tips for you all. So now we'll start the video with a brief introduction. So Tanish, can you introduce yourself? So thank you, Sankal, for calling me over. My name is Tanish Khush. I am a final year computer science student in Bello Institute of Technology, Bhopal. I have CGP of 9.1 till now, and I have been placed as a full-time software developer in uh, Amadeus Labs, and it is a super dream company, and I am really happy. So okay. that's it. Okay, so that's great. Now, if we talk about the total number of people who have applied for this company and how many have been selected for this. So can you share something on this? So uh, a number of uh, 582 students applied for the first round. So the company came on 9th August. They took the online test. Uh, uh, first round was 582 students, out of which 227 were selected for the second round. And for the interviews, 43 uh, students were selected. And at the end, 28 people were selected, out of which 22 were full-time positions and six people were internship. Okay. So that's about the total number of people who have applied. And the, the initial number is like the number of people who are applying for the coding round. And the total applications were more than that, but it is filtered based on the CGPA. And there yes. may be some other criteria for that. Yeah. So, uh, so we, uh, yes, yes. So uh, actually the criteria was eight CGPA all around, but for the first uh, first round itself, 8.5 CGPA was kept as a short, uh, as a cutoff. Okay. Okay. So like if we talk about the CGPA on this selection process, so like how much it was important for your coding round or in the interviews or in the final selection? So for this company, the uh, even though the criteria was kept at eight CGP initially, for the first round itself, uh, the uh, it was increased to eight point five uh, CGPA. So I think CGPA plays an important role when you play and get at, uh, get for some super dream or dream companies. Okay, okay. So now if we move with the coding rounds, like. So like uh, what was the pattern for the coding round or like the topics for the questions and the timings and the difficulty level for the questions? So the first round was a mixed uh, coding round as well as technical MCQ round. And the timing was uh, of uh, one hour, 40 minutes. There were 23 MCQs based on different uh, CS core subjects like OS, DBMS. And there were two coding questions both were uh, uh, moderate or uh, difficulty. Uh, the first question was around arrays and the second one was strings. And okay. I found it quite uh, uh, moderate. Okay. okay, so that was for the coding round. Now, if we move ahead with the interviews, so like how many total rounds were there and what was the entire process for the interviews? Okay, so the before the interviews, there was also a second round called an SHL round, okay. in which uh, data representation and uh, verbal ability skills were uh, tested. It was of fifty-five minutes. Uh, the the questions were uh, eighteen and nineteen questions. The like eighteen questions were of data representation, and nineteen questions were of verbal ability. So after that uh, interview started, there was only one interview, which was split into two parts, and the technical and the HR interview. In the first part, technical interview, uh, resume based questions and uh, internship experience was asked. And after that, they went on to, uh, they went to coding round where they asked for a link list question. Basically it was asked whether to remove the loop uh, after detecting the loop, uh, I was asked to uh, write the algorithm at first. Initially, I was going to the wrong step, but the interviewer took uh, to his hands and then uh, he guided me towards it. 
and after that some programming based questions were asked since i'm more proficient in c++ i was asked in that language okay so for the hr part of the interview uh, basic questions such as strengths weaknesses uh, why you have chosen uh, medius as uh, as your preferred company and what do you know about the company and also one or two stress questions were asked at the end okay so like this was for the entire interview and the interview was divided into two parts first was technical and the second was hr so yes. now the entire interview process is over and the final selection list has came and after this if we talk about your strategies for the preparation and like how you prepared for this so can you share some tips for your strategies that you have mm -hmm. so i have been using lead code and hacker rank from a long time uh, for the past one year so i have been uh, daily practicing one or two questions every day based on uh, a topic or based on a difficulty level i also found some books to be very helpful for me like cracking the coding interview which was one of the most preferred books by uh, inter uh, for interviews yeah. and uh, i have been regularly practicing uh, from geeks of geeks as well for uh, my technical mcqs it provides a lot of knowledge and uh, it helps us to keep um, track of whether where, where you are standing okay so this was all for the strategies and basically he has pointed out three websites that is lead code hacker rank and geeks for geeks so these are some of the websites from which you can prepare for this now if we talk about the roles of clubs and chapters which are like present in mostly all of the colleges so how this played a role in your selection or how it helped you in this process so i have been a student coordinator in android club in my university for the last 2 years so it has been very helpful for me as uh, as there were many organizational choices which i made which helped me in my hr interview to tackle the situational questions also me and my other other fellow coordinators have been uh, developing apps for the university as well which gave me an insight to problem solving and uh, how to proceed it so clubs and chapters helps a lot okay so now if we talk about this interviews like all the interview process was was virtual so what all you find like what all benefits you find or what all demerits you found for this virtual interviews and what all you, are your suggestions for this or feedback for this so yeah benefit i would suggest that you have you don't have to move from one place to another to give the interview you can be at a comfortable position while you are giving the interview uh, but con is always that you can't have always a reliable internet connection so make sure you have a backup of that yeah so that is it okay so uh if we talk about the college time so what all things we can do in colleges to be more productive or so that it can be helpful for our placements or in the interviews so i would suggest from the second year itself try to be more consistent like uh, don't leave everything at the last moment uh, even if you uh, uh, study or prepare for even one hour a day that is fine but be consistent and every project must have an objective behind it don't do it just for the sake of it because the interviewers uh, heed to the projects very carefully and they ask why your project is different from any other project which we have seen or which is commercially available so i feel just don't make a project just for the sake of it okay so like the project should be like totally for like on your own and you should have complete knowledge about the project that you have done or that you have mentioned in the resume now if we talk about the resume and like the projects or work experience that we have so how much importance it like how much important it is in the resume or in the selection process so i would suggest uh, get an internship uh, from the uh, for the second year or even a third year internship if possible and uh, resume must be Uh, short and crisp don't involve too much details into it just uh, uh, mention only the important points in it and make sure you have a professional summary in it because most of the people miss that keep a two line 
uh, summary which describes what you want and what job role are you most fit in okay so now it was the entire discussion and i have tried to like ask most of the common questions that anyone can have now if we ask any final tips or your final suggestions for the juniors that will be like attending the interviews in the next year or somewhere in the future so what all you will suggest for them so i would suggest that uh, start preparing from now only don't uh, keep everything for the last moment uh, open uh, websites Uh, start exploring them find uh, ways in which you can be productive by using the websites and just explore okay so now we have discussed most of the things and this was the interview process or the entire discussion for the amadius labs company so if you are applying for this you can check out this video and it is really very really, very helpful for you and if you have liked the video do like comment share and subscribe the channel for more such videos and we'll meet in another video so till then goodbye